In this problem, we're going to solve this differential equation. So this differential equation is homogeneous, and you can tell because the exponents match. So for example, this here is 2, and here 1 plus 1 is also 2. So this piece here is called a homogeneous function of degree 2 because all of the exponents are the same. And again, you can add the exponents even when the bases are different. Likewise here, this is also a 2. So this is a homogeneous function of degree 2. So if both of the functions in front of dx and dy are homogeneous of the same degree, we say the differential equation is homogeneous. So again, you can just look at the exponents, and as long as they all match, uh, you are okay. So there are two choices to solve this differential equation. Method one is to let x equals vy, in which case dx is equal to v dy plus y dv. This would involve taking this dx and replacing it with the dx here, which would mean we have to FOIL. The other option is to let y equals ux, in which case dy is equal to u dx plus x du. This option is easier because then we only have to multiply by x squared, right? The dy only gets multiplied by x squared, so you don't have to FOIL. So let's take this approach. I'm going to go ahead and write it again over here. So y equals ux, and then dy equals u dx plus x du. It's really just the product rule, but uh, it's really easy to memorize. You just alternate the derivatives. Okay, let's be really careful. So y is equal to ux. So I'm going to put a parenthesis here and then ux squared. Okay, and then plus, then we have another y. So ux and then x and then and then dx. Yeah, dx is okay because we're using we're using this one minus x squared, and then dy is u dx plus x du, and then parentheses and equal to zero. So these take uh, a little bit of effort. I've always felt that these are a little bit harder than the other de's that are studied at the beginning of course. It's just really easy to mess up. Okay, um, let's distribute all of this. So ux squared, that's going to become u squared x squared, and then we're going to multiply it by the dx, so dx. This next piece here will be u x squared, and then again multiply it by the dx, so dx. Good stuff. Distribute the x squared, so minus x squared u dx, and then distribute this one, so minus x cubed du, and that's equal to 0. And oh, ha ha, cancellation, that doesn't always happen, okay, so uh, not every time. That worked out quite nice. This is a separable de, this will always be separable, so let's take this and send it over to the right hand side by adding it over, so we have u squared x squared dx equals x cubed du. And the goal is to get all of the x's on one side together with the dx, and all of the y's together on one side together with the du. Apologies for that beeping sound. I uh, forgot to close my email. It scared me. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Whew, uh, so divide by x cubed, that's x squared over x cubed. I don't know if it sounded as loud uh, to you as it did to me, but that was really loud because uh, I'm wearing headphones. 1 over u squared uh, du. Okay. So, yeah, looks like we did okay. We divided by x cubed, divided by u squared. I right, gotta focus. This is 1 over x uh, dx <laughs> equals uh, let's bring this upstairs because the next step is going to be to, to integrate. So um, we want to write it as u to a power. We didn't bring this one upstairs because when you integrate this, it's this, right? Natural log absolute value of x. And over here we, we add 1. So this will be u to the negative 1 over negative 1 plus c. 
So we're writing this. This, was, this actually wasn't so bad. Ln x. This is negative 1 over u plus c. Nice problem. But we are not done, right? Remember that y was equal to ux. So that means that u is equal to y over x. So 1 over u is x over y. So this is, right, you just flip it. So just negative x over y plus c. And this would be the final answer. Kind of a nice question. It wasn't as hard as uh, some of the other ones that I've been doing lately. So um, yeah, nice problem. And uh, the integration wasn't too bad. Um, the simplification wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah, really, really good, solid problem. I hope this video has been helpful.